guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing week already i am so let's get into it eh? in my previous video we talked about what women want and i know a lot of women agreed with me so what we're going to do today is talk about what men want let's try to understand these men okay we understand them so that maybe we can have better relationships with them. So, let's get into it. A man wants peace. Peace, love, trust, respect, space. He also wants to be loved. He wants affection. He also wants attention. But not as much as you do. You have to understand that you and your man are different. This is why he's a man and you're a woman. Okay? Your man is not a magician. If he has done something wrong, my sister, tell him. Say, babe, I don't like what you did. Babe, I don't like what you're doing. Tell him. Don't just sit down and say, I am not talking to him today. I won't talk to him. I'm not even going to call him. Is he mad? How can he make me angry? And then he's going to call you and you say, mm -hmm. what do you want? He doesn't know he did something wrong. He doesn't know. Why? Because you didn't tell him. You did not tell him you were offended with what he said yesterday. Tell him. Sort it out. Move on. Ladies, these men are not magicians. They cannot be guessing. Even magicians don't guess, please. Hmm? They're not psychic. They're not psychic. They cannot guess. They cannot know what is wrong. What, they don't know what is going on in your mind. They don't, they're not mind readers. If something is wrong, talk. You're not a child that does not know how to talk. Talk. Please. Peace. Give your man peace. You cannot be nagging all the time. Nag, 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 nag. He told him something once. He has heard. Tell him something once. He has heard. Don't tell him today at 2 p.m. You tell him the same thing at 4 six and eight madam he has head doesn't he have ears this is why he's not going to be with you he's not going to be in the same place with you because he knows that if i go and visit this girl today she's going to say the same things she's been telling me over and over again girl change okay stop it it is not okay even you if somebody keeps on telling you the same thing over and over again, how would you feel? How does that make you feel? Doesn't it make you angry? So don't do it to somebody else's child. Don't do it. And then you can't, you just can't date somebody's child. Somebody's child, a human being, a whole human being, and come and stress him with your financial problems. Are you dating him for his money? He has the money now. After all, he traveled to the States and he came back. He bought a Lamborghini that size. He just took snaps in front of that Lamborghini. It is not his own. After all, he bought a 4x4 four four when he came back here. He has been saving. People save money for reasons. They save this one for that one. They save this one for that one. If they have to give you, they are going to give you. Don't say, I am leaving him. He can't even help me financially. What are you doing for yourself? Where is the money you are making? What have you done for him? Apart from telling him you love him and that you are waiting for him. What else have you done for him? You cannot give him anything. Abby, because you are a woman, all you do is take. He cannot give because you are not a man and you cannot hustle. Because you are just... Okay, my man is going to give it to me. I have a boyfriend. He is going to give me the money I need. Ah, ah, I need to do my hair. Let me call my boyfriend. Hustle. Even if it's too narrow that you make for yourself, hustle. Try to make your own money. Don't go and nag a child that you did not give birth to. Okay? Peace. Give that man peace. And he'll give you peace in return. Ladies. And then, don't push a man to marry you. Don't push him to marry you. <laughs> He's dating you. He asked you out in the first place. He saw potential in you. If you keep, when are you meeting my parents? When are you meeting my parents? When are you meeting my parents? Ah, ah. Girl, he has hurt. If he wants to meet your parents, nothing will stop him. 
nothing in this world is going to stop him not even his family is going to stop him from marrying you if you're the one he wants you're the one he's going to marry don't nag him about it he has heard he knows what he's doing stop it meet my parents my, my, my man doesn't want to meet my parents we've been dating for six months he doesn't even want to meet my sister he is not ready don't force him don't force him if he breaks up with you today you're going to say he's a bad person why did he break up with you because you've been pushing him to do things that he's not ready for he wants everybody has a plan in their life i have planned for this i want to marry this girl at this time you know this time i want to marry him i want to marry her and then you because all your friends are getting married you come and nag him you come and push him marry me marry me marry me marry me marry me at the end of the day he cannot think straight he cannot think straight why because your voice keeps on ringing in his ears men men are people too men are people that boy is a person just like you and he wants what you want if he loves you enough he's going to marry you and if you feel his delay please move go and date somebody else don't go and stress somebody's son with too many questions you will stress him so much that he can't even think straight he can't think straight he's at he's at the verge of breaking down because you can't give him the space that he needs and ladies i know you want attention we want attention we want attention on our god the attention you want eh hmm huh. If only our men would just be glued to us, to us like this and be moving around with us everywhere they go. I will be happy. Men want peace. Even if you are dating somebody, it doesn't mean you have to be with them 24-7. It doesn't mean you have to uh, call them 15, 20 times in a day. They have their personal lives. They have things to do on their own. Let them do stuff that they've been doing before. Let them hustle. Let them. If he doesn't pick up your call and he's going to call you back later, you know he's going to call you back later. Wait. He has gone for work. He is working. He's in the office now. Or he's in the market now. Or he's wherever he's working from. Give him space. Let him concentrate. Let him pay attention to what he's doing. Don't disturb him with your calls. Don't disturb him with your. What is happening to us? You're not calling me anymore. The only time you're supposed to complain that that guy is not calling me anymore is if he has a holiday. He's home the whole day and he has only called you once in the morning. Even so, if he has called you at least once, appreciate it. Call him two times, once, afternoon, morning, night. Text him. Text, be texting as well. Ladies, a man needs space to think. These men have a lot of pressure. They have a lot of pressure. Do you know, a family usually looks at the man. My, my son, what is my son doing? Has my son started working now? Brother, brother, school fee. Brother, brother, this one. Brother, this one. Uncle, eh, nephew, niece. You know, they have a lot of pressure. You as a woman, if you start working now, it is not a lot of people that are going to bother you. But that man, he has a lot of people on his head, a lot of things, a lot of load. He's carrying so many things on his head. Please, don't, don't ask to the stress. Be his peace. Call him and say, babe, I know you're going through a rough time, but it will be fine. It will be okay. Everything will pass. You're going to be, you're going to have the money that you need. You're going to have the contract that you need you're going to meet the people that you want you don't like that be his peace eh? Hey. Hey, Emeka, you cannot even call me again eh? you can't even call me what is wrong with you woman stop stop it and then one other thing let me let me swear a little bit have you noticed that when women ask for advice they will only say the part that the boyfriend did but they will not say what they did to cause that thing to cause whatever happens between them what they did for that boy to react do you know 
that's what a lot of women do and it's and at the end of the day we think men are bad people we think all men are the same we think all men are wicked they are not you are stubborn too you are stubborn a man is reacting to what you said a man is reacting to what you did tell me what you did before i give you advice what did you do for him to do that thing think about it first before you complain think about it what did i do did i nag him did i do what did i do what did i do what did i do ask for advice when you know what you've done to, so that you know how to explain yourself don't make these men look like bad people because they are not bad people they are human beings just like you one day you're going to have a son would you be happy if somebody's daughter comes to stress your child would you be happy if somebody's daughter that did not help you train your son comes to stress that son of yours would you be happy same way don't stress somebody's child okay don't stress these men take them as they are bottom line treat a man the way you want him to treat you then you guys will be at peace i hope you've understood i hope you've really understood and gotten everything that i've said if you haven't gotten it please rewind start the video again listen if you haven't heard again do the same thing don't stress our men don't stress these men okay all right that's it for now i hope you guys have heard and understood i'll see you all in my next video i love you Mwah.